My name is Bakhadar Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss how we can multiply the T matrices. So we know the conventional method of the multiplication of the T matrices, essentially the row by column multiplication. But it is possible to multiply the T matrices as a linear combination of the columns of the first matrix. And I'm going to reveal this method since it is going to reveal us the other algorithms which are based on this kind of multiplication. So essentially, I would like to start this video by multiplying these T matrices. So essentially, I'm given a matrix. So let me denote this matrix as the A matrix. And it has two rows and the three columns. Right? At the same time, let's say I'm given the B1 vector, which is going to have the three rows and one column. So I can multiply this T matrices. And I'm going to do this in this way. So I'm going to separate the matrix A into the three columns or three vectors. So this is going to be the first vector. So this is going to be the second vector. And this is going to be the third vector. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a linear combination of the three columns. So a linear combination of the three vectors is essentially when I'm multiplying the three vectors into the three constants and add them. And those three constants are coming from the rows of the second matrix. So essentially, the first column of the matrix A is going to be multiplied to the first row of the vector B. Second column is going to be multiplied to the second element here. And the third column is going to be multiplied to the third element here. So let's multiply them. So I'm going to write this down S. So the 3 and 1 multiplied to the 5 plus minus 1 times to the 4 and 3 plus the last column of this matrix A, which is minus 1 and 2 times to the 0. You see, so I wrote down this multiplication of the matrix into the column vector as a linear combination of the three columns of the matrix A. So now I'm just going to simplify the answers in order to get the final answer. So if I multiply the 5 to the first vector, it is going to be 15 and 3, uh, and 5, sorry, 15 and 5. So plus, if I just multiply minus 1 to this vector, it's going to be minus 4 and minus 3. And the 0 multiplied this vector is going to be simply 0. So the result is going to be equal to the 11 and 2. So this is essentially the matrix multiplication of this matrix into this column. So let us write this down in general, how it would look like. So essentially, so if I would have a matrix A, it doesn't matter how many rows it has, by the way. So it was the three columns. So the column one of the A, so I'm going to denote this as a C1. So column two of the A, so I'm going to denote this as a C2. And column three of the A, so it's going to be three columns of this matrix A. They are going to be multiplied to another vector now with the three rows. So essentially, B1, let's say, B2 and B3. So they are the scalars, while C1, C2, and C3 are the column vectors. So it appears I can multiply this matrix into this vector as the linear combinations of the three columns. So essentially, the first column of the matrix A is going to be multiplied to the first constant, right? So vector times is a constant. Plus, so I'm going to denote the vector like this. So the second column of the matrix A is going to be multiplied to the second entry of this vector. And the third column of this matrix A is going to be multiplied to the third entry of this vector. So this is the general how we're going to multiply a matrix into the column vector. So what, uh, what if the, uh, the second matrix is not just one column, but it has t columns? What to do in that case? So let's, let, let me multiply, let me copy this matrix. So this is going to be the matrix A with the entries 3, 4, minus 1. And the second row is 1, 3, minus uh, 1, 3, and 2. And now I have to multiply this matrix A into the, another matrix B was the two columns. So the first column is going to be the same, 5 minus 1 and 0, 5 minus 1 and 0. And let's say the second column is 2, 4, and 3, for example. OK, so what to do in this case? So what I can do is 
I can multiply again the whole matrix A into the columns of the B separately. Okay, so if you know the matrix multiplication, if you have this matrix, which is T by 3, and this matrix B, which is three rows and the two columns, the resulting matrix should be two by two. Essentially, it should have two columns, right? And I'm going to get the two columns by combination of the columns of the matrix A. So essentially, what I'm going to do is, so this multiplication is going to be equal to some matrix, okay? So let's call this as a resulting matrix with the two columns, the resulting column R1 and the resulting column R2. Okay, and R1 is can be obtained by multiplying this matrix A with the entries 3, 4, minus 1, 1, 3, 2, to the first column of the matrix B. So this is going to be 5, minus 1, and 0. This is going to be the resulting column vector, so which is going to be the first column of the resulting matrix. And the second column of the resulting matrix is obtained by multiplying this matrix A into the second column of the B. So we know that this multiplication is going to be equal to, so we've just multiplied this, so this multiplication is equal to the 11 and 2, right? So this is going to be equal to the 11 and 2. So instead of R1, I actually can write down 11 and 2, right? So at the same time, I'm going to multiply the whole matrix A into the second column of the B. So 3, 1, 4, 3, minus 1 and 2 is going to be multiplied to the second column of the B with the entries 2, 4, and 3. And this is going to be the second vector, second column of the resulting matrix. So I'm going to multiply this T matrices, essentially this matrix to this column, as a linear combination of the columns of this first matrix. So essentially the first column is going to be multiplied to the two, second column is going to be multiplied to the four, and the third column is going to be multiplied to the three. So let's multiply them. So if you multiply the first column to the two, what you get is six and two. If you multiply the second column to the four, you get 16 and 12. And if you multiply the third column to the 3, you will get essentially minus 3 and 6. So what we need to do is we need to sum them. You see, so we are combining linearly the columns of the matrix A. Whenever we multiply the matrix A to the column vector. So this is going to be equal to, so I'm going to add the first row. So this is going to be 6 plus 16 minus 3, which is going to be 19, right? And I'm going to add the second rows. It is going to be equal to the uh, 6, 20, okay? And this is essentially the second resulting column. So essentially the second column of the resulting matrix. And I'm going to copy this here. So 19 and 20 is going to be copied to here. So this is essentially how I'm going to multiply two matrices by a linear combination of the columns of the matrix A. So let me write down the general formula to multiplication of the two matrices as in this way. So let's say you are given the matrix A, A times to the B, okay? And this is going to be equal to, so let's say B has N columns, okay? So in this case, the resulting matrix is also going to have N columns and every column of the resulting matrix, so it's essentially matrix A, B has N, columns. For example, if it has two columns, then the resulting matrix is going to have two columns. If it has three columns, then the resulting matrix is going to have three columns, and so on. So every column of the resulting matrix is going to be obtained as a linear combination of the columns of the A, where I'm going to combine the columns of the A as the column with the columns of this B matrix. So this is going to be multiplied to this vector. So the whole matrix A is going to be multiplied to this vector. So the whole matrix A is going to be multiplied to the second column of the B and so on until the nth column of the B. So the A is going to be multiplied to the CN of the B. And this is how I'm going to multiply the T matrices as a linear combination of the columns of the matrix A. So essentially, this method is a little bit difficult in the beginning, but this is going to reveal, so this, re, this method of the multiplication of the matrices reveals lots of algorithms connected with the matrices. So in our next video lecture, we are going to discuss about how we can multiply the T matrices as a linear combination of the rows 
of the second matrix. Thank you for your attention.